So what's so important? You got to stop me in the middle of my football game. There's something important I want to talk to you about. Um, I've been dealing with this for a, a while and I just need to get it off my chest. I'm just not really sure how you're going to take it. You need some kind of trouble, son? Um, no, at, at least, at least I hope not. You get in involved with drugs or something? No. <laughs> what, do you get a girl pregnant? Definitely not. So, what's, what's the problem? What's the matter? Hey. Come on, I'm your dad. You can tell me anything. I know. I, I know, but this is, this is different. And I, I'm just scared how you're going to respond. Have you talked to God about it? Have you been saying your prayers? Have you, have you prayed for Dad, it? Dad, I'm gay. <laughs> what do you mean you're gay? I'm gay. As in, I like other men. You're joking with me, right? No, Dad, I'm dead serious. I've, I've always known, ever since I was young. Look, I've always known. It's just something that I've hid from the family for years. Okay, I, you know my friend Kit Dale? I mean, he teaches me jujitsu and, and he stays over sometimes. He's also gay and is actually my boyfriend. Dad, why aren't you saying anything? Get out. Dad? Get out. I said, get out of my house. And, and go where? At, uh, I don't care. Just pack your stuff and get out of my house. Dad, you can't do this to me. I'm your son. Where, where would I go? That's not my problem. I, I don't want some man-loving little boy living in my house. You can't do this to your son. You're not my son anymore. Adam was devastated. He couldn't believe that his own father would kick him out of the house. More importantly, he couldn't believe the way his dad reacted to the news. Adam's father spent the next few days feeling miserable about himself. He was left in a great deal of pain missing his own son and was left confused about his own decision. He didn't agree with his son's choices, but he missed them dearly. Then one day he got a surprise visit from his own father. Dad, what are you doing here? I just need to drop off some Christmas decorations for your wife. Where's Linda? Still at work. <laughs> hey, where's Adam? Adam? Adam moved out. Moved out? He's 17. Uh, so we had sort of had like a little fight, and I kicked him out. Yeah, in a fight. What are you fighting about? That, uh, Adam's gay. And... what you didn't know? What, you did? You know all about this? Of course I know. The, the whole family knows. So, what's the problem? The problem is I, I, I didn't raise my son that way. I raised my son as a man. So what exactly is a man to you? Come on. You know what I'm talking about. A, a manly man, a guy that, that uh, likes sports, that plays with girls. Sports and girls. Remember when you were going into high school, I wanted you to play on the football team. And you know what you did instead? You went off and joined theater. You were reading Shakespeare in tights. Now, does that sound manly to you? And I didn't kick you out of the house. And look at you now. You're still a very bad actor. But at the end of the day, I can't tell you what to like or what not to like. You don't have to agree with every decision your son makes. That's not your job as a father. Your job is to love and support that boy. 
no matter what he does. So why are you telling me all this? Because that's my job. And to thump you when you start messing up. And son, once asked me, Luis, do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? You see, Adam's father was so focused on protecting this little thing that we like to call an ego that he was forfeiting his ability to be happy. And he almost lost his son in the process. The key to being happy is learning to free yourself of ego. You see, we're all going to have different opinions in life, but it's important that we learn to love one another regardless of one's life choices. I'm glad Adam's father was able to see things past his ego and love Adam for who he truly is. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe and make sure to share this with somebody that you love.